What's up guys, I'm The Real Fifth Beetle and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about Dario Argento, more specifically his Animals trilogy from 1970 and 1971. Now Dario Argento is a movie maker who I've had a bit of a mixed relationship with since I first saw Suspiria, it must have been 2000. Suspiria was a beautiful film to look at, you know, gorgeous cinematography, but the plot always left me cold, some of the acting left me cold. I don't know whether it's because I was watching a dubbed version. I don't know whether there's a version with subtitles. That it's always left me a bit confused with these um, Italian directors from the 70s. I can never really be sure, you know, is there a, a dubbed version or, or, you know, is there a subtitles version, which, which is better because I'd much rather watch a film with subtitles the dubbing always comes across as a bit hokey in some of these films, and that I thought that was the case with Suspiria. Um, but as I say, the cinematography, the lighting, you know, the tone of the movie is just beautiful to look at. And when I watched Suspiria 2018, that was a film that, you know, I did resonate more with the plot and the acting. The acting is superb in that film, but... You know, all the gorgeous cinematography, all the gorgeous colours from the original were lost to this sort of um, grey, greys and browns and it lost something for me. So in, I suppose I'm looking for, you know, a merger of the the two films would make for me the perfect Suspiria movie. But as it is, we have these two halves, you know, which combined could be, you know, incredible. But going back to 1970, which um, was Dario Argento's, Dario Argento's directorial debut, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, this is a film that you know blew me away. I didn't know what to expect going into it. I, I honestly thought it was going to be you know, a no, you know, very much like Suspiria with like you know, you know, badly plotted, and I don't really want to. I wouldn't like to say. Suspiria's badly plotted, but it, it just left, the plot left me cold, I should say. Um, with this movie, I was sucked in straight away, and, you know, gorgeous cinematography. Um, the lighting, it's a bit more muted than Suspiria, but, you know, it's still a, a beautiful film to look at. One of the pluses to this film is that I saw a subtitled version. Now, I know there's a dubbed version, but I, I'm glad I saw the subtitled version because... It it just sucks you in more. You 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 believe the characters more when you go, when you see a dubbed version of, of this type of movie. The acting just comes across as hokey, and I'll get to that with one of the films in a minute, a later film of his. But yeah, with the, the subtitle uh, subtitle version of this movie is fantastic. Um, it's such a stylish movie. Um, and one of the opening scenes where you see the, you know, alleged killer attacking a young woman, and we see our, you know, our protagonist witness it from outside the building. You know, and he, he manages to make his way in through the front entrance, but then he's caught between the next entrance and the entrance he's just come through. And it's very, I don't know whether Dario Argento influenced George Lucas, but if you've ever seen this film and seen Phantom Menace, with the uh, lightsaber battle between Darth Maul and Anakin Skywalker. It's very reminiscent, and I'd like to think that George Lucas stole this, but uh, probably he's, I don't think he's got that good enough taste, to be honest with you. But yeah, this, this film is just an incredible film. It really is. It's just such a fun film to watch, and it's an hour and 30 minutes, and it feels like about a 60-minute movie. But the, once I'd seen this film, I went straight on to his next film, which is The Cat of Nine Tales. Now... This movie, it's enjoyable, but this is where I have an issue. I saw this film, a dubbed version of this film. Now, I don't know whether I just lost some of it along the way with the dubbing because the acting comes across as as quite corny and, and it, it doesn't really seem appropriate for the type of film it is. And I think that might have been an issue with a lot of these films from the 70s. But, you know, the, the Cast Nine Tales, it's, yeah, it's certainly not on the same level as Bird with the Crystal Plumage. But, again, it's, 
Odds and Tower was, you know, for this first two movies, this this film came out within within twelve months of the Bird of the Crystal Plumage, and I've got to say, you know, we knocked it out of the park again. Really, I mean, I can't recommend it highly enough, but I would highly, highly suggest trying to see the subtitled version, which and. F- the main reason I would say that is because of his last film, well, of his Animals Trilogy, Four Flies on Grey Velvet. Um, this movie, it's got everything going for it in terms of the plot. A, a really creepy killer with a really creepy looking mask. Kind of reminds me of um, Happy Death Day, but, but you know, obviously way more creepy than that, but it's got that similar sort of vibe. But uh, it features Michael Brandon, who's an American actor, and I guess he's using his own voice because it certainly sounds like him, which leaves me confused as to um, how they went about this movie because clearly people are dubbed in this film and really badly dubbed, but it looks like he's speaking in his own voice and he is obviously an American actor. He can speak perfect English, but this is where I had a real issue. I mean, I was still invested in the movie and where it was going but uh, my god the, the dubbing in this film is absolutely shocking i mean you've got like this sort of comedy postman who just comes across as completely goofy and it, it doesn't help by with the awful dubbing you've also got a private investigator who's uh, yeah i won't go there because it's, it's just even worse and then you've got another guy who Clearly, this is meant to be Italy, but he talks like Joe Pesci in Goodfellas. And that just completely took me out of the film in, in some respects. So, you know, it, it, if there is a version with subtitles, you know, if anybody knows where I can find that, because I would much appreciate seeing that version and just seeing, you know, where it leads me. Because, I, yeah, it, 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 I wouldn't say it was a downward spiral for Argento with, with this film, but it, it, it certainly, Bird with the Crystal Plume, it certainly you know, got him off to a great start. And the next two films, but while still enjoyable, um, then just not in the same league. And But I would like to know how much of that is down to me watching a dubbed version. So, I mean, you know, if you guys can leave comments under, underneath, um, if you know of any way I can watch um, a, a, a subtitled version of this film, because even if I order online, you know, I'm not even sadly sure which version I'll get. But anyway, yeah, that's just my take on the animals, trilogy. And um, I mean, this is my first proper upload, so go easy on me. I mean, this is on you. Um, Try not to stumble too much. But um, I'm as a as a side note, I am currently in the process. I'm trying to watch a movie every single day of the week, so I'm trying to watch seven movies a week. Um, I'm I'm a horror fan, but there's a lot of horror I haven't seen. A hell of a lot of horror. And a lot of other classic films I haven't seen, but I'm trying to work my way through it. So anybody who would like to comment underneath, you know, what they'd like me to see, what they'd like me to watch, and I'll try and watch it within seven days of you recommending it for me. Um, if I have to, if I've already seen the film, you know, if you comment, I will reply with my thoughts on the film, give like maybe a little mini review. But if I haven't seen the film, I'll do my utmost to watch the film you recommend and have a, like maybe a little mini review up within seven days. But anyway, yeah, that's enough for me, guys. Um, so my first upload to YouTube, officially. My first proper upload, anyway. So, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye.